Well, hello. Today I want to show you how you can create an online order form and share it with your customers so your customers can order online from your shop or store. So to get started, the easiest way is to get to Formula dashboard at dashboardformula.net. There you will see the uh, forms you have created. If you have not signed up, just sign up and then get to the templates. Here, there are various templates you can use for your business and in multiple pages, you can choose and use them. Um, just get, uh, uh, let's see this demo from this form. It's get your perfect t-shirt, which is an order form. And um, you will see how it looks like in different screen sizes in desktop, tablet, mobile, looks perfect. And let's pick the template and get to the form editor. And so you can edit your form and yeah, um, edit it based on your needs. So there you can, uh, from the appearance, you can add your own branding and, or choose from the different templates here. You can add a background image, etc. And um, yeah, this is how your form looks like. You can add your logo up here. You can edit the form title and, and, or description, add your products here. This is a single choice field. You can add fields from the left pane at add field tab. And you can choose different field types. Uh, this is a single choice field. You will see uh, we have added each product as a choice and added the um, product name and uh, the price of it. And um, you can ask for the size of your audience and how many of it they want. Just remember, um, it's better to uh, create a drop-down field here because, uh, for example, some customer might say, I want 100 t-shirts, mm -hmm. and you might not have 100. Just make sure it's a drop-down and you write down your own um, how many is uh, your uh, your inventory in, in your inventory? So um, you can ask for the name of the, the, the customer and their email address so that you can reach out to them and send them the invoice. Um, and remember to ask for their address. Make these fields required. Their zip code and uh, their state region. And yeah, this is how it looks like. And uh, you can add the change the text of the submit button and change the text um, after the submission. So um, they say, yeah, um, your order is complete now. So this is how your form looks like. Let's get to uh, view form. Yes. Uh, this is the, the, the URL, the address to your form. You can share it with your audience and uh, enable them to fill, fill the form. Uh, yeah. Here they can choose their product, for example, let's say this t-shirt in medium size. And I want one. And yeah, this is how the form looks like. And here they will add their name and email address and etc. To um, add um, pricing to your form, just get to the dashboard and there you will see your form there. And from the menu beside the form, choose calculator. So you can calculate the price and um, here you can say, for example, uh, click on this question which shows the products and you'll see the calculations added here. For example, you say if, if the uh, answer was iron and 16, which is the first product, add $16 to the price. If it was, for example, uh, this product, add for, uh, uh, the for example, if it was this one, add 14 to the price. And uh, if, uh, whatever they choose, uh, it will automatically calculate the price. So um, imagine there's a price, um, and I choose, for example, this Superman t shirt, $23, and I get uh, on, on to the form. And here I choose uh, the shipping um, of Express Site. So, and it will add five to the twenty-three dollars, and it will calculate uh, twenty-eight. And uh, the user, the customer, must pay twenty-eight dollars.